Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Romine and copper is the biggest ingredient in Tesla and electric vehicles and copper stocks are on fire. So today I'm going to show you why I'm investing in copper and you should too. Everyone knows EV stocks are on fire and with the Biden administration pumping $2 trillion into clean energy, it makes sense that clean energy and EV stocks are going to benefit. But the secret play is copper stocks and here's why. Copper is essential to electric vehicle technology. Conventional cars use 18 to 49 pounds of copper. Hybrid electric vehicles use 85 pounds and battery electric vehicles known as BEVs contain 183 pounds. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand that a lot of copper is needed for the electric vehicles which are increasing in demand worldwide. EVs can use up to three and a half times as much copper when compared to traditional cars and copper is used in every major EV component from the motor to the inverter and the electrical wiring. A fully electric vehicle can use up to one mile of copper wiring. Check out the performance for today's copper stock. The return over one month is 19%. The return over three months is 55% and the return over six months is a whopping 82%. We're talking high growth stocks that are part of a worldwide EV movement. And the best part is we need more copper to keep up with the increased demands. Before we get into copper, let me share a quick success story. Ted said, I started trading last year, slowly adding money to my portfolio and put $40,000 in as of November. I ended the year at 47,000. Today I hit 61,500, putting me past a 50% return, which is far beyond what I thought I could do when I started. This has been a great year so far and I hope to continue to grow with the help of Jerry and the members of this group. If you are new to my channel, check out my Patreon. Every day I share a success story like Ted's and we are changing lives in my group. Hopefully we can change yours too. Grab a cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Welcome to Beast Mode Stock Analysis. I'd like to start off by saying a special thanks to Justin S. He provided us with today's list of copper stocks. He invests in copper regularly and wanted me to take a deeper look and they are definitely a group of winners. All right, across the top, we've got Freeport, which is ticker FCX, the Rio Tinto Group, RIO, Ivanhoe Mines, IVPAF, Glencore PLC, GLNCY, London Mining Corporation, LUNMF, First Quantum, FQVLF, Southern Copper, SCCO, Hud Bay Minerals, HBM, Sierra Metals, SMTS, and we've got the Copper ETF, which is COPX. All right, the first thing we want to look at is the return over one month. Our biggest winner on the day here is FCX, and they are up 23.88%. And on average, these 10 stocks are up 14.89% in one month, which isn't too shabby. Over three months, our winner is SMTS up a whopping 86%. On average, these stocks are up 55%. Over six months, on average, they're up 82%. So that's quite impressive. And you'll notice the beast mode is color-coded. Blue is my most important, followed by green, and then tan, which we'll see in just a little bit. Our first section is the earnings and growth, and this tells us whether or not the companies are making money. And we'll start with the P.E. ratio. If it is above 100 or negative, I consider that to be a growth stock, and those would be the ones in red. And if it's between 1 and 100, I consider that to be a fundamental stock, and those are the ones up here in yellow. So we've got Rio with a P.E. ratio of 18.94. We have London Mining, 47.84. SCCO at 42.33. SMTS at 29.17, and a lot of the data won't be filled in here for an ETF, and that's because it's an ETF. Okay, the next thing we want to look at is the revenue growth in the last year. If it's a growth stock, I want it to have good revenue growth, and our best one on the day here is going to be First Quantum, and they've got 27% revenue growth last year and 26% revenue growth this year. And if we're looking at the other stocks with a lower PE ratio, anytime they've got revenue growth, that's a really good thing. And let's see, we've got Sierra Metals coming in with 7.24% last year, 8.68% this year. Southern Copper is doing all right with 5 and 7%. And then we've got London Mining with 20.11%, which is really good last year, and another 6.25% this year. And our last part of the earnings and growth is the levered free cash flow. And this measures a company's ability to expand its business and pay returns to shareholders using only the money generated through current operations. If that number is positive, like all of these here, it means they're making enough money to pay all their bills and keep the lights on, which is a really good thing. And our strongest on the day is definitely SCCO coming in at 22.82%. And they have a PE ratio of 42.13. So we're starting to see a company that I like a little bit right now. The financials tell us whether or not the companies run on good margin 
margins. And for operating margin, anytime it's over 10%, that's generally a good sign. This industry seems to be doing a little bit better on average. Our strongest one here is SCCO at 36.1%. And one thing I also notice here is Ivanhoe Mines, they have no revenue, no cost of goods. So they are not only a high growth company, they don't even have any revenue yet. So if you were going to be investing in this company, then for me, it would be purely based on technical analysis. And now if we look at the balance sheet, I like to look at the tattle ratio, and this is the total assets versus total liabilities. And anytime that number comes in at two or higher, that's a really good thing. At a minimum, we want it at one or higher. And let's take a look at one of these examples. Rio Tinto Group currently coming in at 2.068. That's because they've got total assets of $84.5 billion and their total liabilities are $40.8 billion. So they've got a really nice tattle ratio. Now, I love investing in profitable companies, and I like to look at the net income margin. For mining stocks, the industry average for the top 40 is 9% in 2019. So anything above that is doing well. Anything below that would be subpar. So our strongest on the day here is going to be Rio at an impressive 17.21%. We've got LUNMF, a little subpar at 7. Southern Copper at 17.17 is looking really good. And then we've got SMTS coming in right at par at 8.2%. 6.5%. All right. Now let's move into phase two where we look at valuations, price targets, and analyst sentiment, and everything here is subjective. The first thing we can look at here is the intrinsic value. And if that number is in purple, it means the stock price is trading lower, and that's a good thing. So for example, we've got Rio currently trading at 82.39, and the current estimated intrinsic value is 87.46, giving it a fair value upside of roughly 6.15%. And our biggest one on the day for upside percentage would actually be HBM. It's currently trading at 684. It's got an estimated intrinsic value of 8.58, giving it a 25% upside margin. And of course, anything with intrinsic value, it's an estimate. So take everything here with a grain of salt. Analyst price targets is another area I like to look at, and it just gives us an idea of what the analysts are thinking. Again, if that number is in purple, it means the stock is trading lower, and we can see all of those numbers here. And then we also have the analyst recommendations. Our most recommended stock on the day is FCX at eight, but I also like to break it down into a percentage of buy recommendations, and that way we can see what number of analysts as a percentage are recommending the stock as a buy. Overall, these stocks are pretty positive. Our biggest one on the day is gonna be Rio at 75%. We also have Ivanhoe Mines at 67% and SMTS coming in at 67%. And our last section on the day is going to be the Piotrowski score. And this helps to find companies with healthy liquid balance sheets, profitability, and operating efficiency. And here we'd like to see that number come in at five or higher. Anything lower than that's a bit of a red flag. So we've got a zero coming in for Ivanhoe Mines. We've got everybody else is looking pretty good. London Mining is looking exceptionally strong at nine. We got a few threes and a four, which is pretty close. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. And and one of our strongest on the day is also going to be Sierra Metals, SMTS coming in at eight. Let's jump into the Webull charts. And if you're not using Webull, you should take advantage of their free promo where you get a minimum of $21 in free stock and possibly $3,700 just for signing up and funding your account with $100 when you use the link below. We're now in Webull and we're just going to do a quick look on the charts for some technical analysis. Our first one is ticker FCX. And one thing today, all 10 of these stocks are in nice upward trends. The blue line is the 20 day moving average, the red, the 50, and the white is the 200. These are what I call railroad tracks because they kind of resemble railroad tracks. And this is definitely what we're looking for. And when we look at these stocks, the first question you ask is, is this a train you want to catch? Is it going from low to high? Absolutely. And you're going to notice that these stocks typically trade right on that 20 day moving average. They go a little above it, come back to it, up, and the cycle repeats, and that's exactly what we're looking for. When we're looking at this section right here, this is what's called consolidation, and then a breakout, and then a return to the previous trend, which was up. Right now, we have a little bit of consolidation here, and if it breaks and holds over 32.49, that would be a very bullish sign. Our next stock is Rio, same upward trend. It went up too much too fast, came down to the 20-day moving average, and now it looks like it's continuing the upward trend. Next, we have Ivanhoe Mines. Same story, looking pretty good here. Too much, too fast, came right back down to the 20 day moving average. We're now in consolidation and we don't know how long it'll last. It could be a while like this one here, but then normally once it breaks out, it wants to return back to that upward trend. Our fourth stock is Glencore, nice upward trend. We can see it recently hit a high of 777. So for it to be bullish, we'd wanna see a close over that amount. Our sixth stock is London, ticker LUNMF, currently trading at 967. We have what could be a double top forming. We'll know more in the 
next couple days. Hopefully it goes higher and closes above 1004, which would be bullish. If it can't close above 1004, then this would be what's called a double top, and that would be a little bit of a bearish sign. Our sixth stock is FST Quantum Minerals, ticker FQVLF, currently trading at 1859. And here we've got a really nice looking chart. We got the railroad tracks, everything is going up. It came back down to that 20 day moving average. It's going sideways. And now we would want to see this trend continue back to the upside to reestablish itself. Our seventh stock is Southern Copper. We've got a really nice looking chart here. Nice upward trend. It hit a high. It's consolidating sideways. And now we need to wait for it to break over 72. That would be a bullish sign for it to close over 72. Our eighth stock is Hud Bay Minerals. We've got a pretty good looking chart here. It goes up, comes down, goes up, comes down, went sideways, and now it broke down through the 20 day moving average. That's a bit of a concern. And now it appears to be heading back up. So you're gonna want to wait and see for that trend to reestablish upward. And that'll look just like it does right here. And again, the best case scenario would be for it to close above 776 and to continue on. Our ninth stock is SMTS. And we've got a real nice looking stock, beautiful looking railroad road tracks, everything is looking healthy here. And since this is the copper sector, all of these stocks typically move together. So all of them have recently hit their highs. They're all going sideways. And right now, this is what I would call a wide range for consolidation. And you'd want to wait for it to close over that $3.87. And our last stock is COPX, Global X Copper ETF. And I really like ETFs. You can see they've got tight trading ranges. They're less volatile, beautiful looking chart, definitely something that you would want to consider. I believe all 10 of today's copper stocks are strong and worthy of your consideration. Here are my top three picks. My number three pick is the copper ETF COPX. It's really hard to go wrong with this ETF. Solid returns and very little volatility. I love stocks that make quiet, steady profits like this ETF. My number two pick is First Quantum Minerals. This company has the best revenue growth out of all the stocks and is the only one with a rule of 40 score over 40. And my number one pick is Sierra Metals. And I can tell you that it's rare that I have a penny stock that is ever my number one pick. The chart shows a solid uptrend and for fundamentals, the company has a PE ratio of 29, revenue growth last year and this year. They are up a whopping 128% in the last six months and they are available below their intrinsic value. This is really rare to see in a penny stock, but you do need to be prepared for a little volatility since it is a penny stock. Our question of the day is, how long do you expect copper stocks to be hot? That's a really tough question to answer because typically mining stocks are cyclical. However, there is no substitute for copper and copper has serious long-term supply constraints making the production of copper critical to the EV supply chain. So with a limited supply of copper and increasing demand, I expect copper to be strong for years to come. Thanks for hanging out with me and be sure to take advantage of the free Weeble Stocks offer and check out my Patreon where you get daily hot stock picks, my shared online portfolio, and so much more. And to close out, here are a few pictures from Pacara, Peru to La Paz, Bolivia, where we traveled next to Lake Titicaca for most of the day. Peace and I'll see you later.